Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use exponential scale to get really smooth movement when animating the scale property. So here I have my name on its own layer. I'll select the text layer. Now I'm going to scale up the text really big, but I want the center of the animation to go right through the hole in the letter R. To do so, I'll go up to the top toolbar and click on the pan behind tool or use the must know keyboard shortcut Y. So with the pan behind tool selected, I'm just gonna click on the anchor point and just move it right in the center of that hole of the letter R. With the text layer selected, S to bring up the scale property, I'm just gonna move the CTI forward just a little bit. I'll click on the stopwatch next to scale to add a keyframe. I'll move the CTI forward in time and I'm just gonna increase the scale and just keep increasing, increasing until the text goes off the screen. So I'll move the CTI forward a couple seconds, tap N to set the work area. Now when I tap the space bar, here's what the animation looks like. So the animation is going right through the center of the R, which is exactly what I want. But when I tap the space bar, you should notice that the animation has kind of an easing to it. It's not a fluid, smooth movement. So to fix that, we're gonna apply exponential scale to the keyframes. So first, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer so we can do a before and after. So with the layer selected, I'll press Command or Control D to duplicate the layer. I'll select the top layer, tap Enter or Return. I'm just gonna add X scale so I know the difference between the two layers. I'll tap U to reveal all the keyframes and a great little shortcut. If you click on any property that has keyframes, it will automatically select all of the keyframes on that property. To add exponential scale to these keyframes, all you need to do is just right click on either one of the selected keyframes, doesn't matter. So I'll right click, go to keyframe assistant and select exponential scale. Before I do so though, just notice we currently have two keyframes, but once I right click, go to keyframe assistant and select exponential scale, you will see After Effects creates a whole bunch of keyframes. But now let's preview the animation with exponential scale. So I'll tap the space bar and you should be able to notice how fluid or how smooth the scaling animation is now with the exponential scale applied. So this is with exponential scale. If I toggle on the visibility of the layer below, this is without exponential scale. And you can see it's kind of jerky. It's not terrible, but it's not fluid. I'll toggle back on the with exponential scale. This is with, and you can see it's just one continuous motion. And if I go into the graph editor, this is the animation without the exponential scale. And this is the animation with the exponential scale. And you can see that nice smooth curve. And to control the speed, select all of the keyframes. So I'll just click scale to select all the keyframes. Press option on a Mac, alt on Windows. I'll click on the last keyframe. If I drag them out, it's gonna slow down the animation. And to speed up the animation with all the keyframes selected, option or alt, I'm just gonna smush them all together and that will speed up the animation. I animated my logo using the exact same technique. If I zoom in, you'll see I placed the anchor point again in the center of that R, dragged the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, tapped S for the scale property, added a keyframe at the beginning, scaled way up until the logo went too big. I added a second keyframe. I selected the keyframes, right clicked, keyframe assistant, exponential scale. Now I have a nice smooth scale animation. For a finishing touch, I duplicated the logo layer, making sure the CTI is at the beginning of the timeline, tap S for the scale property, select all the keyframes and delete them. I'll drag the CTI to the end of the loop, grab the pick whip and parent the top layer to the logo that I already animated, Tap the space bar, and that is how to use exponential scale in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.